Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? I am. I am sick. Are you sick tonight? Oh my goodness. Yes, Still with the flu? Yes, I am. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's sad, but I really appreciate your effort. I appreciate your punctuality too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, people, welcome back to your English class. This is your Eng uh, English class number five. Yay, number Great. five. Mm -hmm. Are you guys okay? How do you feel? How do you feel in the class? Uh, I am feel good. All right. In the class, uh, mm -hmm. I I I I happy for the <clears throat> the learn more the 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 the, the language. Very good. Mm -hmm. To expand, right? You're learning. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, 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 I more watch video in, 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 in English. Okay. Nice. Uh -huh. Did you watch the video I sent through the WhatsApp chat? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you watch the video that I sent? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I watched the video. Okay. And how was it? Did you like it? Uh, interesting in the, the, the demand and the, the, the bombs uh, yes. in the, in the, by the lemon and okay. The, the 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 children is a buy a, a, a lemon uh, she uh, search, oh, uh, search yeah, she, the example she search she search uh, how do you say prestar uh loan she makes uh, loans she she searches uh, makes the loan and and the bank and uh, bank uh, no no. I said, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. The bank uh, the bank is not um uh, it's not it's not willing credit. it's not credit. willing to invest we, in that idea uh, right we, so yes. yes that's why she started to sell the stock I mean the shares right. She what? sells the shares with her with her friends, and then she starts growing. She starts growing. I mean, the the business, right? And yes. yeah, the lemonade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really uh, interesting to know how the stock market works, right? The stock market is a very complex concept for us because it's not our culture. We haven't been instructed in these um, financial a uh, processes or culture right culture because they are always trying to save money and then to invest the money and we always have been told that uh we just have to consume right in our culture we are not investors we are, don't save money we don't look for um to be an entrepreneur, right? To become an entrepreneur. We just consume and consume, right? Yes, you're right, uh, good. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of easy to understand the example with the lemonade stand, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The lemonade stand, that's the way that the stock market works. Yes. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh... Don't worry, don't worry. Just put in order your words. Put in order your words. Subject, verb, and complement. Uh huh. Uh, 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 uh,
I I I I I think uh B B two uh, similar uh, in in family. Oh yes, in the family uh, budget. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, pero, bueno, siento que se, eh, se nos complica a veces con la familia porque a veces queremos ganar más que los demás. Pero, oh, no, okay. No, We uh, want to win more than the others. Yes. Or to earn, to make more money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. And we become envy, right? And we don't want to share with them uh, and we don't want to work together. That's true. That is true. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, people, welcome to your class number five, five, everybody. And tonight we have just as a manner of conclusion of the unit one, the topic how to handle the decline stage. Decline stage. So I spent a video through the WhatsApp chat, and that's what Boris and I were talking about. We were discussing and remembering all the, um, the content that it showed. But look, in the stock market, we always see this fluctuation, right? We see that they um, take off the market, uh, the products, and then it starts the decline and, or maybe there is a new product in the market and it's a boom and it explodes all the shares, all the values in the market, bones goes up. So there we can see this fluctuation, right? From the beginning of the PLC to the end of the PLC, right? of the life of the product. So that's why I sent this and you could practice the listening, all the vocabulary we have been studying, okay? And that's real life, that's real life. And you will listen to different uh, uh, accents, right? Because you can listen to people from Texas, from uh, the New York State and uh, I mean city, the New York City, and actually, it's kind of um, it's kind of enriching to listen to different accent accents to form our own way to pronounce the words. Okay. So thank you everybody for being here and for being punctual. We are going to start a class now. Is everybody ready? Is it everybody ready? Yes. Okay, people. So yes, let's, okay, good, good. We want to start by just um, doing a short feedback uh, from the PLC vocabulary. Okay, so I want to share with you um, a link. Okay, in this link, I prepared some exercises in an application that it's called Quizlet. And you will have fun uh, watching the flashcards. Uh, it's only reading, okay? It's only reading and writing, listening. And we are uh, trying to um, drill the vocabulary, okay? Uh, um, the PLC stages, PLC vocabulary, the unit one vocabulary, okay? So let's go there. I will send you the link right now. Miren, cuando le den clic al link, probablemente les va a pedir que se unan. Eh, se pueden unir gratis ahí, solo completen los tres datos que les pide para que no los deje a medias, ¿sí? 
aunque aquí también podemos jugar en, en la cuenta, en mi cuenta, este, pero quiero que lo tengan ahí porque hay muchas formas de aprenderlo, ¿verdad? Y para que quede bien grabado, pues hay que hacerlo de diferentes maneras y esa aplicación tiene todas las eh, formas posibles para aprender. Entonces, vamos ahí donde están estos flashcards. Ustedes ven ahí Product Life Cycle. ¿Ya llegaron ahí? ¿Are you there yet? Uh, product Life Cycle, yes. Cycle, okay. So, okay. you go you go to the... I will, I will show you this. Click on this label. It says Aprender. And some others it says Learn, depending on if you have it configured uh, in English, right? So you go and aprender. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. and the, the page. Uh... Mm -hmm. Then you go to the flashcards. They are called features too, right? Okay. Oh. So, mm -hmm. Yes. So let's go to study the flashcards. Okay, in the flashcards, I prepared some terms like product development, right? Product development. What is product development? Because we want to learn how to describe things, how to define the terms. So this is why we are going to study this at the beginning of this class, okay? As a manner of feedback. So product development, do you remember what, what this term means? What does it mean? Okay, developing the product, no, I'm sorry, developing the product concept into a physical product to ensure that the product idea can be turned into a workable market offering. Okay, this is in my own words and some other words, right, that I found in the net. This is from the last uh, process we studied, right? El eh, desarrollo del producto, ¿te recuerdas? Ah, en el desarrollo del producto pues teníamos la idea, luego la teníamos que llevar a la realidad y la testeábamos, ¿verdad? Hasta que la ofrecíamos en el mercado, hasta que la lanzábamos en el mercado. So that's what it says here. Developing the product concept into a physical product to ensure that the product idea can be turned into a workable market offering. Okay, I will click on it and I'll go back. Okay. What do you think this is? At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand for the product might be low and marketing efforts try to develop branding, quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. Okay, we, we look for the keywords, right? Look up uh, all the Market keywords. Market introduction. Yay, right. Congratulations, there you go. So let's go to the other one. The new product registers an increase in demand because more customers accept it. The sales start to grow and there is little competition. Grow. Growth. Okay. It's growth stage. Yes, good. Growth. Uh -huh. Growth. Growth. Mm -hmm. And we've got the other one, right? Let's go to the next one. The growth in sales decreases because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing efforts work to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than in the previous stages. This is the right definition by the book. Okay. What stage is this one? Decline. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here. Decline. Decline. It was maturity. maturity. Yeah, maturity. maturity. Yeah, because market saturation occurs, right? And uh, the growth start, I mean, stop because of the competitors, right? Okay, yes. then. Then the product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop and the producers start making decisions about this. Decline. The decline. Product. Okay. Decline? Decline. Uh, decline. 
All right, decline. Good, decline, not decline, decline. Decline, decline. Okay, what does attraction is? Is there um, another term that we saw in the unit one? Do you remember a word that means attraction? Mm. A synonym? Different? Different? No, no. Innovation? In, oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's appeal. Appeal, yes, right. that's correct. Uh -huh. The appealing of the product is that uh, right. you cut the attention of the customers right. the because how it looks, right? How, yeah, it, how yes. your product looks like. All right, then let's go to the next one. To distinguish, to make different. Mm -hmm. What's the word we learn through, I mean, a, that means this? To distinguish, to make different. Differentiate. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Differentiate. All right. The possible strategy to stop to stop producing the product and withdraw it from the market. Possible strategy. Maybe we haven't started this. Today we are going to see these terms, okay? Discontinue. Discontinue. Right. Mm -hmm. Discontinue. The possible strategy to stop producing the product and withdraw it from the market. This is discontinue, okay? okay. Remember, discontinue is a possible strategy to stop producing the product and withdraw it from the market. Relax, yeah, be, relax, uh, relax. Yeah. No, Listen, relaunch, no. No, no. Yes. No, relaunch yeah. is that it's you a, prepare and, uh, okay. A new you strategy. Re, a new or strategy. you refine some features. You refine some features or you add any other feature that may be mm, feed into the needs of the market, right? So in this case, I think this continue is just to stop producing it okay stop producing that a uh, specific product okay and actually you are withdrawing the the product from from the market uh, yes you you can withdraw it or you can just stop producing it and sell just the stock remain right the remaining Fisher, stock may, mm -hmm. can Tell you me? repeat the the sentence please the sentence, I mean, yeah. the definition. Yeah, this, yeah, the definition, yes. Okay. Is it yeah, normally uh, you can think that is the word withdraw. Withdraw. But, withdraw, but uh, at the beginning is the possibly, the possibly strategy to stop producing the product and withdraw it. And that is what yes. you say, discontinued. Yeah, that is a, you the can clue. think uh -huh. it's, with, yeah, yeah. You can think it's withdrawal because the, 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 word, the word is there. Yes, but it, it was a banana skin, right? Like a banana yes. skin. <laughs> it's a, a, a trampa is a, yeah. how do you say trampa? Uh, a, a, tramp. a trap, trap. A trap, a trap, a trap, mm -hmm. a trap. right. Okay, now. This is another word, and this word it's kind of difficult for us because we don't have um we have only one word for each concept in Spanish, but in English, this word means different thing and still they can be opposite, okay? And the spelling of this word is um a okay, makes the word a noun or makes it a verb all right so let's take a look at this word to stop from being sold what word is that okay uh we learned that it was take off the market but look at this look at the spelling okay it's a verb right this is a verb so it's an action yeah it's an action. This is why it's kind of difficult for us to get the concept because 
this means to retire, to put away, right? To take out will be like a synonym, but there is another spelling that it, it's a noun, right? The take off, the take off and it, it's all together, not with the dash, right? It's not separated and it's a noun, okay? So this is why we become, I mean, we uh, get confused. So in this case, take off the market exactly means to stop of being sold, to stop of being sold. Okay, take off the market. Mm, it's similar to withdraw. Okay, it's similar to withdraw. But there is another meaning. Okay, there is another meaning because take off the business. Okay, this is take off the market. The other is take off the business. Take off the business is when you start growing, when you start growing with a take off, right? As an action. Not as a noun. You start uh, flying or uh, rising will be the word. Rising to a new level. All right. You are taking off, taking off like that. Uh, the business, the business. You rise, but take off the market means that you had a product in the market. You are selling a, a product. You are offering a product, but then. For any reason, maybe the sales are decreasing or something went wrong with the production, uh, whatever, it can't turn the market down, right? So it be, um, in the decline stage, this is a strategy to, okay, to take off the market, to take off the market, all right? It means to stop for, from being sold, to stop from being sold. Okay, to stop from being sold, not sell anymore, not more selling, all right? Not more selling. We don't produce, we don't offer the product anymore. Okay, next. Buy somebody's share in a company, his business partners bought him out to get rid of him. This is an example, okay? This is an example how to use by, uh, the word, right? The word that we are looking for. Buy somebody's share in a company. That's when you uh, get another part of the company, right? Because you're part of the company and then you come and offer to a stakeholder, right? Uh, a stockholder, uh, I will buy your share. So you may leave the market. I can make the decisions better. I make, I, I'm sorry. I can make better decisions without these stockholder, right? So I buy his actions, I mean, his shares, and then I uh, take control of the business because I have more shares, right? So what's the word here? Do you remember? Buy out, okay? Buy out. Mr. Nelson, what does buy out mean? Buy out? Yeah, by somebody sharing in a company. You told us, you explained very well. Uh, I spoke, I, to, I told you buy out, uh, but I have mute. Uh, this one, I, I, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah. him out, but him out in the yeah. past tense. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the present tense or the noun or buy the out. action will be by out. Yeah. Right. By out. Okay. I want to see you guys. I want to see you. Are you are you in the place? I mean, are you, are you in the site? Llegaron ustedes a este a este sitio? No, I, I Okay, don't know. let's continue here then. Yeah, uh, so please. take take back, remove to stop selling a particular product either permanently or uh for a period of time. What's the word here? What's the word? Take back, take out, remove. 
take away. <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of words similar, but they are not exactly the same word. Uh huh. Take back, remove, remove. Retire, okay. Um, to stop selling, to stop selling a particular product either permanently or for a period of time. Discontinue, yes, yeah. maybe discontinue. Maybe. Uh -huh. This is the situation because we yes, have discontinue, take it's off, and near, we have the other one. Near. Right? Clo it's close. It's close. Yes. But, uh, it's withdraw. It withdraw. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Withdraw. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Withdraw. Okay. That's what withdraw. was the what was the uh, definition to stop selling a particular product, right? Or remove it from the market. Right? Yeah, take back is is correct. Take mm -hmm. back is is withdraw, right? But actually, uh, the withdrawal takes place when uh, there is a failure in the product yeah. that I offered, for example, or maybe um, it caused harm or a damage to the customers. So I have to remove it from the market yeah. to do the uh, revision and then right. relaunch it, right? So that then is when I withdraw throw a product i discontinue a product because i'm not going to produce it anymore but i will right. throw a product to put it back in the market refined okay fixed right teacher excuse me tell me uh, pass the list thank you uh actually it's 8 30 okay good let's finish this activity and remember again okay remind me again uh let's see when the volume of a product or service in a marketplace has been maximized occurs when most consumers already own the product and the market is not growing any sales that occur are replacement sales ideas ideas the volume volume amount right amount mm -hmm. Mm -hmm has been maximized. maturity yeah it's maturity but uh, saturation huh? exactly exactly market saturation market saturation yes there is no more demand right okay. there is no more demand mm -hmm. only replacing the existent uh, um, objects that the customers have already consumed right and let's see Characteristics of a particular product, guys. What that will be? A feature. Everybody agrees? Uh, Characteristic of a particular product. Yes. Feature. 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 Yes. Feature. Okay. Consumer willingness and ability to buy products. You told me that you knew demand, right? So this is demand, okay? I know that we didn't define this in the class, but you told me that you already knew what demand was because you just thought about demand, the translating, right? right? So uh, let's define this in English. Consumer willingness, willingness and ability and to, to buy products. products. That's right. demand, okay? Right. What right. is demand, guys? Consumer, Consumer willingness, willingness and ability, ability to buy products. To buy products. Exactly, that's Consumer demand. Consumer willingness, uh, 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 will, will, uh, ability. Sorry. Ability. Okay, they want, they need, and they can buy products. Okay, they have the resources, money. Yes. Yeah. Okay, continue. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Product life cycle. The course of product sales and profits over its lifetime. Actually, this is the definition of product life cycle. But what are the, I mean, what is the acronym? Remember? What is the acronym? PLC. PLC. Exactly. I will ask, what does PLC stand for? What does PLC stand for? Product life cycle. 
P is for product. Life. Yeah, nice. um, L is for life. C is for cycle. Exactly. Product, life, cycle. Yeah. P is for product. L is for life. And C is for cycle. Okay. I, I was watching today with my daughter uh, this Friends series. Have you seen the Friends series? Have you seen Friends? Are you a fan of Friends? And this is the series of Friends. Yes. Yeah. Uh, pues, yeah. uh, there is a scene where Ross uh, has to make a toast for uh, Joey and Rachel because he discovers that they are together, right? So, and he is trying to say the best words in his toast for the new couple, Joey and Rachel, right? And <laughs> There, I, I, it was funny because he said, love, right? Love, L is for life, right? And what is life without love, <laughs> okay? So I was remembering about the product life cycle when I saw that scene, guys. <laughs> uh -huh. I recommend that, I recommend that. Uh -huh look for it and and you will have fun right you got it see si, see si, captaron lo que les conté de friends yes it's okay okay everybody no no understand not, not exactly okay va <laughs> miren es que fíjense que en la serie de friends sale ross en Ross's una Ross's escena ajá uh -huh, ross galler verdad Yes. Sale en una escena en donde eh, tiene que hacer un, un brindis. O a, él ha invitado, ¿verdad? A Joey y a Rachel. Él se ha dado cuenta que son pareja en ese momento. Jo, Joey y Rachel. Entonces, yes. Rose, pues, está muy afectado, pero él está haciendo el brindis. Entonces, empieza a querer decir las palabras más eh, bonitas, digamos, o quedar lo mejor posible, ¿verdad? Y pues si él es, sigue enamorado de Rachel, right? Ajá. Entonces dice, I want to make a toast and uh, for you guys and for love, to love, right? And then it, he says, love, L is for life, right? Life. And what is life without love? <laughs> de tan bonito que lo quería hacer que nada que ver. ¿va? No, o sea, se quedó así como, como corto en las palabras. ¿verdad? Sí, la vida, el amor. ¿Y qué es la vida sin el amor? Okay. Wow. He didn't say anything else, right? Okay, ahora sí. Vámonos, chicos, no sean así. Yo sí me reí. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Ok, guys, ahorita ya vimos, digamos, el, eh, el vocabulario, ¿verdad? A ver, ¿pueden accesar todos al sitio de Quizlet donde estábamos ahorita? Can you access to the Quizlet site? Yes, I am. Info. Ok. I, I mean, did you get in? I mean, ok. Are you in? Guys, please tell me. Let me know. I need your feedback here. I mean. Yes, All right. I mean. Thank you. Okay, great. So go in the uh, label of learn again, okay? And go to options. Go to options. All right? Like this. You go learn. And then you go right here in the other a corner you you just click on op options opciones right then you go to modo escribir i don't know how it says if it is in english i don't know exactly but it will be spelling or writing okay listening could be also too so let's start you start there okay and then you write what where are we word where, where is referring 
Where can I go there? Is in the platform or where? Uh, no, no. I sent it through the <laughs> chat, uh, the, the chat. Zoom chat. Hmm? Zoom chat. Where? Oh. In chat. the Zoom chat. Ah, oh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Zoom chat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there you have ah. the link. Click ah, on the link I, and access. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I am here. All right, so you can do it to your pace or if, uh, is there someone who wants to come to my um, to my screen, I can share the remote. Who wants to come and do it here? A ver, alguien que lo quiera hacer aquí en mi computadora y le paso mi remoto, mi control. Excuse me, teacher. I I am option and um, and then. Uh -huh. o sea, se va, you you go to learn and then in the next part. Okay, let's go back. I will do it like here. Okay, this is mm -hmm. the label you have to look for where it says features where we were right. Yes. Aprender. So go to aprender. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where is okay. Aprender, okay, I see. Okay. Para then you go, then you go options. Option. Uh -huh. Option. Opciones. And then you go modo escribir. You start. Okay. okay? okay. And then you write the answer right here. Okay. A ver. Okay, right. Okay, vamos a ver, le vamos a pedir. Eulice cree que usted puede ingresar y yo le paso el control. Vamos a ver a quiénes más tengo por acá. A usted lo tengo en la lista que le puedo dar el control, Eulice. ¿Quiere entrar a escribirlo? A ver, ¿quién está de computadora? Tengo por acá a Nelson, tengo Me. a José Miguel. Ah, pero he's a listener. Ok, Nelson, I will give you the remote. Ok, I share the remote. So now you can start. Uh -huh. I'm not in because I, I, am, I'm, I am here on the... Uh -huh. He opened this product life cycle, fichas, aprender, probar, combinar. Okay, where it says aprender. Te... Uh -huh. Click on aprender. Yeah, registrarse para seguir estudiando, crear una cuenta gratuita. Eso, yes, material. that's then... what I was explaining. You have to create your uh, free account to continue. En okay? Google or en email? No, right there in Quizlet. Uh, your, your Gmail, your Gmail. You can use your Gmail. Email. Okay, vamos Nelson. Nelson, the next one is right here. You have to click on continuar. Mm, no sé dónde dice continuar. Uh, okay, just uh, hit enter, hit enter. Ah, okay. Hit enter. There we are. Okay, just hit enter after you write the word or the answer. To stop from being sold, guys. What was it? Uh huh. Decline? Decline? Mm. No, not exactly. Discontinue? Discontinue. Discontinue. Mm -hmm. Discontinue. Take off the market. Take off the market. I see that, huh?
good job. <laughs> yes. We have to fill all the all the bar, okay? So continue, continue. Do it as as faster okay. as you can, right? Remember attraction. A synonym of attraction. Just hit enter. This is a possible strategy, guys. Uh huh, uh huh. Remember, remember. Uh, decline, no, Decline. no, no. Uh, discontinue. Continue. Keywords, keywords, developing, and then we have the product concept, and then we make it real in the physical product, and then we put it in the market. Development product. Switch. Product development. Yay. Now hit enter. Great. Hmm? By out. Demand, yes, demand. Remember the acronym. Yes. Yes. Market saturation? Yes, sir. People helping here. O si lo están haciendo ustedes, qué bueno, qué bueno. 
to the sandwich. Uh-huh. Guys. Remember? Let's make different. People, people. Uh huh. Def, def. Uh huh. I can't remember. Differentiate. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, everybody, come on. Helping. <laughs> Teamwork. There. Got it. Great. Yay! Great! Good! So we know all the terms, guys. We know all the terms. Okay, I hope... I, actually, we can, we can continue, but we're going to stop here. Now you know how it works. You have the link now. You can work by your own. So let's go to the next part of this class because we have uh, to cover uh, the... Um, we want to do an activity tonight, remember? About the product analysis, right? Product life cycle analysis. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we're going to start by introducing the new topic, right? Because tonight we have how to handle the, the, the decline stage. Right, how to handle the decline stage. And what we have in our agenda, the, to study the strategies in the decline, the strategies in the decline, but what's the decline stage? What is the decline stage? How can we differentiate the decline stage? How can we identify this? How can we identify this? Actually, when we try to define this, we, we may have some signs where we can um, uh, say, okay, now we are starting the decline, okay? Because there are some uh, signs and sales and costs and profits and the marketing objectives, uh, the products suffer some changes or maybe the prices suffered also any change, adjustments, right? In the distribution, we have trouble. Maybe the adver advertising is not um, a coaching the or reaching the target mass market, right? So allow me to take you there. And let's think about what what are the signs in the decline stage? In the decline stage, we have these signs. I'm sorry, teacher, I pass the list. Thank you, yes, please, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I will do it. I will do it in this very moment, thank you. Okay, people, so now you're going to say a word. Just instead of saying present, you're going to say a term that we started to today. We had 15 terms that we started with its definition. So you choose one and tell me one of the terms we started, okay? Are you ready? Please turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say the word related to the PLC and the unit one topics, okay? Good. Let's start with Alvaro Ernesto. Aguilar Peñate. Mr. Álvaro, are you there? Mr. Álvaro. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Decline. All right. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. To distinguish, to the make different. Very good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. 
Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Withdraw. Very good. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Eulice Torres Torres. Demand. Okay, good. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Miss Fátima, are you there? Is she is a listener tonight? Oh, yes, she's is a listener. Right. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. He's is a listener, but he was uh, participating in the chat, right? Withdraw. Oh, okay, no sé good. Si yeah, they told, they said it, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Saturation market. Good. Uh, you have to uh, switch. Market, market saturation. saturation. It's good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Discontinue. Okay, good. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. Miss Karen, are you there? Is she? Okay, she's just a listener, isn't she? No, actually, I don't see her. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. No, Kevin, tonight? Oh. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Take off the market. Good. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Um, feature. Okay, good. Santiago Roberto Calderona Velar. Mr. Santiago. Oh, excuse me. Take off. I got it. The All mute. right. Uh, okay. I forget. Okay. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Is he in? Is he in? No, he isn't. Oh, my God. I think that because of that it is Friday. Hey guys, please remember that in this course, if you don't show up, um, you are going to miss a lot of the content, okay? You are going to miss a lot of the content. So please remember to watch the videos to catch up. And if you don't get the whole um, content or um, you think that you need to go back or to study more, please go and watch the videos too. All right, people, so let's continue. Let's continue. We were saying that the decline stage is uh, um, shows some signs. And these signs are um, a important because that's the, let's say, the point where we uh, start to make suggestions to create new strategies to improve the um, methods or maybe improve our product or uh, go and do a marketing research to know what the customers are thinking about our product and also what the um, the behavior of the, of the market is at the moment and why we are declining, right? So this is the analysis we want to make. But how are we going to um, identify that we are starting the decline stage or we are already in the decline stage? All right, let's go and uh, check this out. Tell me, Santiago, tell me, don't worry, go ahead. Yeah, I think... I think is uh, the this uh, in product uh, life cycle the decline of the product is when uh, 
uh, the sales uh, mm -hmm. drop and the production is ultimately uh, halted. No, okay. You can mm -hmm. have uh, no more chance to to innovate mm -hmm. and to uh, is to is to risk to mm -hmm. uh, to risk it to have mm -hmm. more production. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you don't have profit because you can sell more products. Yes, and you cannot uh, yes. produce, right? You cannot produce. produce. You, you have more costs mm -hmm. on uh, less uh, profit. Exactly, well, exactly. This is the reason because you can. Yes. So you have to look at, I mean, to be aware of the uh, market behavior, it means. Right the competitors' right. actions, right? right. So let's right. look at the actions. For example, uh, when we analyze the sales, they are declining, okay? They are declining. And right. the costs, low cost per customer, okay, yeah, it maybe is the same cost, but I'm not receiving the same say, amount of sales, right? Because it's declining. The profits, well, actually declining profits. Yeah. Uh, okay. Marketing it's, objectives, uh, I'm sorry, objectives, reduce expenditure and maintain reposition, harvest or drop the product, okay? Right. In this case, the, the um, a production, okay, the production, the offering, and we cannot um, turn the stocks, right? It's, 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 uh, kind of difficult because we are not receiving any profit, so we are not able to produce the same amount, or we are not under the same conditions at uh, when we were when we were in the maturity, or maybe on the growth, right? All right, then product. Actually, yes, some weak items, so, yeah, because there are competitors around that are taking your spot in the market. Maybe they are offering some stronger items, right? And what about the price? We have to reduce prices. We have to cut the price, right? Then the distribution goes selective. Only where we sell the product, right? Only where the product is moving. Uh, if I can take the product where I took it before because there are no sales, there are no customers um, willing to, uh, to acquire my product, right? So advertising, we reduce to level needed to retain our core loyal customers, only for loyal customers, right? Not for everybody, not offerings, not discounts, only discounts for loyal customers, or maybe just one program like Rombo Siman, right? Or something like that uh, to maintain uh, my loyal customers or the people who uh, for sure they're going to buy my product, right? So uh, let's think then if we analyze, I don't know if it is stuck, no. If we analyze some products in the market, uh, we can see, we could see where exactly these products are or what happened with these products, right? What happened with these products? For example, I have some examples that I was talking on Friday and it was because um, maybe, okay, maybe, In the analysis, we are going to get the um, what exactly happened, what was the mistake, or maybe they didn't preview, okay, or they didn't um, move forward, right, or make the movements they needed to do in the right time. Okay, so uh, if we see the products become, become an obsolescence, right? Obsolescence, that's a cause that generate the decline of the product, the obsolescence. 
obsolescence. Yes. So when a product becomes obsolete, maybe there is a new product that can replace the product that I offered before. So I just change, right? I just change the obsolete for the new product. But there are other companies that they don't make the adjustments at the right time. So they are not able to uh, produce or to give a new product that replaces the obsolete product. Okay. And uh, for example, the demand downturn, don't, I'm sorry, downturn, demand downturn. So people just don't want the product anymore because maybe uh, there are other products that feel, fit my needs better or it's easier to get another product. Maybe my product is good quality, but the price is too high. Yeah, and there are another medium quality and the price is medium price, right? Or it's not exactly low, but these short difference makes that the demand downturn okay, to the highest prices and goes to the mead, uh, um, mead prices, okay? Um, changes in customer preferences, changes in customer preferences, maybe because of the weather, maybe because of something um, happened, it, be, it started a new fashion, or there is another product that they offer fashionable, right? More attractive than mine. And so my uh, preferences just change. Maybe I produced these for young people and young people just grew up. Now they don't get my product and the new um, young people, they don't want my product. Right, so changes and customer preferences. Now, global competition. Global competition is uh, for sure. Uh, I, they, um, let's say the last bullet, right? The last bullet. And it's right to the middle of the head, right? Of a business, the global competition. If you're not able to compete with the franchises, I mean, the big companies that are uh, merging in the market or offering franchises and growing up in a different um, economical system or any new uh, or any stronger financial system than my country maybe doesn't offer all the um, all the benefits that may help my company to compete right to compete so this is why some um, enterprises or businesses uh, grow in the developed countries why because and because they offer benefits for uh, um, making uh, compatible, I mean, um, we could say for they to maintain in the market. It happened, it happened with the Kodak example that I was going to tell you, because for example, the US gave them the opportunity to change the field, even though they produced before uh, these pharmaceutical things in the COVID-19 uh, uh, season, we could say, or time, um, Kodak Research, okay, they uh, relaunch or they restart the growing, okay, even though it's not in the same as they were because of the products they offered, but now they changed the field. Why? Because the government of the United States helped them to do that, okay? But maybe in our countries, we don't have that kind of systems, right? Uh, that's what global competition 
makes um, the the some companies go to the decline uh, of the, their product, right? Of their product. All right. So let's think about the strategies. How can we uh, manage the strategies to manage the decline stage? The first one may be just to maintain the thing. We lower the prices, right? We make the prices go low to try to um, go to flood, right? Um, to survive, just to survive. Repackaging, maybe I sold this one by one, okay, okay. like a retail, and now I'm going to sell it by dozen. Or maybe I can repackage this in a new kind of package. Maybe I bottled something and now I do it in a can or I did it in a can and now I bottled in plastic things or maybe I offer a different option of my package, right? Uh, also packaging refers to, refers to the way, mm, you wrap up, not exactly just wrap up the, the, the product, but how you offer this to your customer, right? The discontinuation, as we said, we just stop producing until we can uh, uh, think about what to do, okay? Think about what to do if we can get a loan or, well, get any oxygen, right? Any oxygen for my company, then I discontinue that product. Um, and I continue with my star, my other star products. So I am not taking off the market as a company, but maybe with one of the products that goes in the decline stage, I can do the discontinuation. Okay, then innovation, innovation, actually, you have to innovate to give another product to offer a different product with um, new features, with uh, the most, I mean, the newest um, uh, uh, offering something to, to meet the newest customer's need, okay? Customer's needs. Co-branding. Co-branding means that I can work in partnerships, right? In partnerships. I can um, have the money from another company and put their, their name on my product, right? So co-branding. Brand is marca. So co-branding is that now the brand doesn't belong just to my company, but with the to the people who is uh, financing the um, the new process of production, right? Now let's look at some examples of the strategies that we can take to manage the decline stage, right? Let's see these statements and let's analyze them grammatically, okay? Yesterday, we were studying the quantifiers. Here, we are going to find some quantifiers and some nouns, if they are countable or non-countable. That's what I'm talking about when I say that we want to analyze them in a, a chromatic way. So some companies formulate many different strategies to manage the decline, to manage the decline stage. OK, some companies. It doesn't give any number, right? It doesn't give any number as indefinite. Que es un nombre indefinido, un número indefinido. Okay, no tenemos un número exacto, pero es más de uno. Y es un plural, es un nombre contable. Son, lo puedo usar, contables y con incontables, ¿verdad? En una forma plural, ¿ya? Yeah? Um, en una forma con los no contables, me va a dar una cantidad inexacta, pero sé que es... Algo de, ¿verdad? Que existe. Hay una cantidad, una cierta cantidad, pero inexacta. Ok. It says many different strategies. Many with countable nouns only. With countable nouns only. Here the noun is strategy. So many different strategies. Uh, plural, right? I use many 
with plural countable nouns, okay? And then actually some companies formulate many different strategies to manage the decline stage. Let's look at number two. Declining companies may choose any, any of the following strategies, continue with the original product, improve or drop their product. Any means uh, a quantity, mm, it's an exact, it's an exact two, but this is um, whichever, right? Whichever, not necessarily, not necessarily um, nothing. And some context is going to uh, give the meaning of nothing, yeah? Cualquiera, whichever, nothing, Nada en los negativos, okay? So declining companies may choose any of the following strategies. Ah, strategies, strategy, the countable nouns. So I can use any with the countable nouns and also with the uncountable nouns, okay? Non-count nouns. All right, number three. Quality and a few features were improved to accelerate sales in no time. A few features a few features, algunas, yeah, o unas pocas, yeah, unas pocas o algunas. Um, we use a few with countable, feature one, features plural, so plural countable, a few, plural countable. Now, let's say in no time, it means nothing. Okay, nothing of time, so no time. Few businesses, ah, here we've got a few, but here we just have few. Mm. So we can use few or a few for countable nouns, plural countable nouns. Few businesses would rather make innovation their best friends, that their best friend, to leader the market, okay? To leader the market, to lead the market. All right, here we go. Few businesses will rather make innovation their best friend to lead the market, okay? Few countable nouns means um, in a negative sense, okay? Here is in a positive sense. Here is in a negative sense. O sea, muy pocos, muy pocos. No está diciendo que algunos, no. Aquí está diciendo que la cantidad de businesses o de, de empresas es poca, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Now, many big clients would prefer to pay high prices for good quality rather than, you see, would prefer rather than many big clients, and then low prices for poor performance, right? Low prices for poor performance. Now, many countable nouns, yeah? Countable nouns, plural countable nouns. And here, okay. Are we okay so far, guys, with these examples? Is there any question about them? Questions? No questions? No, no questions. All right. So let's go and do this building vocabulary. Remember, obsolescence is that uh, actually you are going to read what does, I mean, what these uh, term means, right? Now, demand down, torn, changes in customer preferences or preference, global competition. So now you're going to read and you're going to write the number right here to match the term with the definition, okay? So, a ver, le prestamos el, el remote a alguien, a ver. ¿A quién le prestamos el remote? Se lo vamos a prestar a, a ver. Yo me voy a poner en silencio y ustedes lo van a discutir, okay? Se lo vamos a prestar a José Miguel, right? You ready? 
Y quiero escucharlos a todos platicando, opinando, cuál es. Ok, just give me one second. I will, I will just uh, put in order my screen. José Miguel, préstemelo un ratito. Solo voy a poner en orden mi pantalla para poder trabajar yo acá, para poder estar lista. Ok, a ver. Va, pero quiero oírlos a todos, ¿verdad? Participando, ¿sí? Yo creo que ahí estamos bien. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. For example, number three, international competing company is definition of the global competition. Um, Right, and then four in definition number three. Global competition, international competing companies may offer better product or cheaper price. Here. Here, international, okay. Mm -hmm. The value of product is a little bit of the difference in the problem. This is, I think is changing customer preference because here make reference products or service cost. Okay, yeah. Ah. Excellence, uh, for example, definition number two, a significant decline in the number of products usually because of more innovation or a cheaper reason available. This one. Okay. This is a number two. What do you think? Number two. Uh, reduction of customers interest in buying a product or service. The man down to. Yeah. That is correct. Number two is a reduction of customer interest buying product or service. The man down to. On the yeah. number Two, the three is the over the there. Three, the presence of it's change in customer preference. The presence of innovative, innovative product service cost customers. It's correct. All, all the answers are correct. Okay, somebody thinks different. No, it's okay. okay. I think it's, it's, it's right. Now, I think we are um, getting to the point that, uh, that we need to define the terms in English instead of translating, right? We didn't translate any of these words, any of these terms, and you got the definition by association. So great job. Great job, guys. This is on page 15 in your manual. So you can go if you have it in paper, then you can do it, all right? You can do this exercise. So just as a manner of feedback, I want to take you to the uh, quantifiers, just as a manner of feedback, all right? Because we have just to, uh, put this on paper, right? Uh, we have, one second. Okay, for example, with count nouns for small quantities, we have few and we have a few, okay? Few, a few. In that case, we said few businesses. Sometimes few means in a negative sen sense, okay? Pocos, pero 
diciéndolo en un sentido negativo. Ahora, en un sentido positivo sería a few, algunas, ¿ok? Algunas, así como nosotros en español tenemos, sí, pocos, ¿verdad? algunos pocos, eh, perdón, eh, diríamos poquitos o pocos, ¿verdad? Con los nombres contables. Few apples, uh, few, I don't know, windows. There are a few windows in my house. But if I say there are a few windows in my house, then I say, actually, I'm okay. I'm okay with algunas, right? Algunas. So few is kind of negative. Sense, sense. The, the um, sentence is affirmative, but the sense is kind of negative. Oh, few, yeah, few is pocos, right? But a few is algunos, yeah? Uh, a few is a little negative. Do you mean a no, few? No, few. 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 Uh -huh, gives the sense of negativity. Mm -hmm. Okay, negativity. Few. Few. Yes. Okay. But a few gives you the sensation of a, um, algunos, kind of positive, right? In a positive way. All right, but we have with the known count. That was with the countable nouns, few and a few. But for the non count nouns, for small quantities, I have little and a little, okay? Little and a little. And I add the particle of a little of or just a little. It's okay. A bit. Todavía más pequeño que little, okay? Todavía mucho más pequeño que a bit sería a little bit, okay? Pequeña cantidad, a little bit. Todavía así como chiquitito sería a tiny bit. Okay, poquititísimo, yeah, poquísimo, a tiny bit. Entonces, este sería poco, un poco, un poquito, un poquitito, un poquitísimo, yeah. So, this Una is, miseria. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just a little drop of, of something. For example, if I say a tiny bit of milk, oh my God. That's nothing, right? A tiny bit of, I don't know. But this is good for explaining the um, bytes, megabytes, and those kind of things. Then you say a bit, right? They use that word too. So this is for a small I'm, amount. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, repeat the, the, the a bit. A bit. A, a little bit, un poco. Uh, the a bit. A is bit. A, uh, yes. Okay. It's a little poco. No, a little, a little a, and a bit. Uh, sometimes it will be interchangeable, but a little is un poco. Un poco de, ¿verdad? A bit es un poquito de. Yeah. Eh, a little bit, un poquitito de. A tiny bit, un poquitísimo, tisisísimo de. Okay. Ya ni me querían dar. Okay. Ya no queda nada, una miseria, como dijo Nelson, right? Okay, but these are for non-countable. What about these Thank quantifiers that we use with countable and non-countables? A lot of, lots of, plenty of, some, and no, that means nothing of. But these are for large amounts, okay? Large amount of things, or uh, we can talk about abstract concepts too. With countable and non-countable nouns, we use a lot of, lots of, plenty of, some, and no. There are others that tells you the right amount of something. This is large amounts, right? Then the right amount will be plenty of, okay? Plenty of, and there is another one that I, I can add here that it is enough. Oh, let's take it. Plenty of and enough, they give the idea, well, I will do it in a different way because they are completely different and we use them differently. But plenty of and enough are the right amount. I'm not going to um, need to go for more if I have plenty of. Okay, if I have enough, I don't need any more. So I have enough, right? So plenty of and enough 
are right the are used to express the right amount, okay? But also for countable and non-countable, okay? But enough is for the non-countable and non-countable too, and non-countable too. Now, much and a great deal for non-countable nouns, and this is for large amounts, much indefinite, indefinite. A great deal of, it's kind of definite that it is a big, big amount, okay? Um, that you need more than you can imagine, okay? Or a, you lost, right? More than you were expecting to lose, right? So large amount, large amount. Now, what about many? Do you know many? Many is for the count nouns, and it's a large number of the one that replaces a great deal of, okay? A great deal of and a large number of, a great deal of is for non-count and a large number is for count nouns, large amount. Okay, después que vimos esto, quiero llevarlos a un ejercicio. I want to take you an exercise. To an exercise, but this is only for small quantities, okay? Small quantities. I will show you the small quantities. And you are going to complete the sentence, right? Okay, we have for big quantities, a lot, a few and a little for small quantities. Remember, in this exercise, we're going to use a few and a little. A few for countable, a little for non-countable, a lot for countable and non-countable. All right? Good. Go. We're going to complete this. Excuse me, can you repeat the countable and uncountable? Okay, a few is for countable, right? Countable, small quantity. Okay. A little, small quantity, non-countable. A lot for countable and non-countable, large amounts. Okay? A few, a little, or the last one? A lot. A lot, okay. Yeah. Right. You're going to complete the sentences, all right? Mm -hmm. A few. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh. One second. Something happened. I was trying to move something that it is blocking my side here. Just one, one second. I'm moving this. Just give me one second. There we are. Can you see the, the screen now? Can you see my screen? Yeah, oh, yeah right. it's right. Okay, a few. good. Yes, I can. It's a few. No, it's a you few. can't, right? Okay. There mm -hmm. are a there few are... children here. Okay, so. because there are only three, right? So they are a few. Okay, let's right. click on a few. There we go. Uh, hmm. Right, let's go next. A little. A little. There, there is a little wine. There is a little wine. A little wine. Okay, I will stop sharing and I'll, uh, I'll go back with this screen because it's not giving all the features I needed. One second. Now, there it is. There you go. There's a little, a little wine mm -hmm. uh, in the glass, mm -hmm. but, but today, but not today. Not today, and it is Friday. It's, it's too late, not? it's too late, it's too late. Uh -huh. There are a lot, of, a lot of people here. A lot of. Yeah. A lot of. All right. There are a few flowers in the field. There are a few flowers in the field. There are a lot of pears in the tree. 
a lot a lot of a, or a little a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of, a lot of. <laughs> tears Uh, a few. Uh, a few. Yeah. Yeah. A few. Mm, a little. A little. A little. There is a little. The boss goes a in... few minutes. A few minutes. minutes. A lot of, there is a lot of money in the site. There is a lot of. A little. A little. A little. A little. Yes. My granddad gave me a few. A bit. Mm. Va, vamos a ponerle a few. Uh, a lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A little. A little. It's not countable. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, but in this Consejo. case. Mm -hmm. It's like an no, expression. No, it's not. It's, uh -huh. it's more than more an expression, okay? That I received advice, all right? So something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not about exactly the quantity, right? But the expression. But yes, but, it's a little. Uh, excuse me, but you can say to uh, a lot of advice or not? A lot of? Advice. It could be. Yeah, you can yeah. say lots of. Yeah, yes. because, because it's, it is there are... countable and non-countable. Right. It's mm -hmm. too, it's uh, many. Too much. Advice. Yes, but this a little gives the positive sense of that you received advice. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a very good place. So a few. A, a of... few tourists come here. A few tourists come here. It's a mm -hmm. negative sense. No, those. actually, uh -huh. yeah, there you go. Negative sense. He can speak, yes. A few. Uh, a, a few? Little. A few words of a Chinese. Few. I think. A, a few, few or, okay, let's put it, okay? A few. It's comfortable. You can speak a little, a little Japanese. A lot of, there is a lot of paper in the bin. Yeah. And great. Here we finish, okay? Here we finish. So we did it, guys. And we did 15 of 15, right? Yeah. The attendance? Not yet. Thank you. Uh, it's a good moment. Thank you very much. It's a good moment. Thank you for reminding Point. me. Point. <laughs> Point. Extra point. Oh, my goodness. Yes, uh -huh. yes this is also me. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we are going to say um using few a few little a little whatever you want to say of those quantifiers we learn okay oh, just the quantifiers okay good alvaro ernesto aguilar peñate ana lorena cortez cáceres perdón ya la cambié <laughs> i'm sorry i no que Nah, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana, por eso no contestó, vea. 
Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Now, Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. I'm sorry, Boris. <laughs> no problem. Los ando regalando. No problem. Okay. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Okay. Pero íbamos a decir los eh, quantifiers. quantifiers. Exactly. Um, so. Regresamos. Let's go back. Es que fue porque yo me equivoqué. Yes. Oh, I, I am. made a mistake. And, I mean. I, I am confusion. <laughs> yeah, I'm mistaken the, name, the last names. Right. All right. Christ. Let's go back. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. A few. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Edwin Antonio Quintero mm. Sumaña. A great deal of... Good. Elias Neftali Martínez González. Eulice Torres Torres. Uh, huh? I'm sorry. Son? Oh, I have to. Some, one you say some. Some. No, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Fátima Noemi Omaña Castro. José Miguel Torres Hernández. I, 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 I'm confused with this. <laughs> Just say a quantifier of those that we saw. Uh, a few. Oh. Okay, good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Any? Good. Josman Atilio oh. Serrano. A little bit. Good. Karen Lizette Sanchez Castro. Miss Karen. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. I rate the love. Good. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. A lot of. Okay. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Enough. Good. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. No, Wilber tonight. Okay. Well, we miss it. Well, I get sad when you don't show up, guys. I really get sad. Okay, but no problem. No problem. Let's continue then with the other exercise I want. Oh. Actually, this is an exercise at the same time that we are going to see some examples about the small quantities, how this work, okay? How this work with the small and large quantities. So let's see this grammatically, okay? In the real world. In the real world, we're going to see some sentences. And I will send you a link where you are going to do an exercise too, okay? So let me just share this. So did she have a little water? Okay, did she have a little water? Tomó un poco de agua, right? Did she have a little water? I have a few ideas for the relaunching. I have a few ideas for the relaunching. Si yo le quitara este A, que está acá, Okay, me da un sentido, un sentido negativo, right? Why? Because I have few yes. ideas, uh -huh. few ideas is pocas, okay? I can pocas dismiss ideas. this. Yeah, pocas. Uh, they are, you are not so creative, so you cannot think about any other, or maybe it's closed, right? That's a closed case, or a cold case in this case, right? Or a closed case. Uh, then, but if I say a few ideas, there is a possibility because I have some ideas, right? A few ideas. They are one, two, three, or four, but maybe possible, okay? They design a few features to renew the product line, okay? They design a few features to renew the product line. Hmm. A few features, a few ideas, countable, right? We bought very little blood paint. I'd rather you bought some more. I'd rather you bought some more. 
All right, very little, very little. I can also use very, que es muy, para agrandar todavía más la cantidad, ¿verdad? Very much, very little. I, I have seen very many, but it's not usual, right? It's not uh, so common, we say just many or very, right? Very little black paint. Uh, she'd rather get fully paid a few days later. She doesn't want just a bit of money at this moment, but she needs the full payment, right? In a few days later. We need a few coins for the car park. Okay, we need a few coins for the car park. It means coins, countable nouns. One coin, two coins, a few. Would you like a little milk? So it's cheap, right? Would you like a little milk in your coffee? Would you like a little milk in your coffee? A little, right? Just a chorrito. There you go. They ate a few biscuits with their tea. They ate a few biscuits with their tea. The engine needs a little oil. This is for small quantities. Let's identify the count and non count nouns and notice how to use the quantifiers. Okay, countable, yeah. non countable, right? In the first one. What about in this one? Teacher, tell me what the meaning biscuits. Biscuits. Yes. Biscuits, biscuits son galletitas, like cookies. Oh, mm -hmm. oh like cookies. Okay. Like cookies. Okay. All right. In KFC, they call biscuits to a uh, kind of bread, right? Yeah, something like that. But no, biscuits is sweet cookies. In England, we that you uh, eat with your tea. I have a few ideas for relaunching, okay? No, non-countable or countable? Countable, okay. Features, countable. Paint? Paint? Uncountable. Uncountable, all right. Uh, what about days? Countable. Yes, coins? Countable. Okay, milk? Uncountable. Uncountable. All right. Biscuits. Countable. Countable. Yes. Countable. Oil. Uncountable. Okay. Uncountable. Now, think about an example using a few, and let's think about another example using a little right now. Okay. I will ask. Um, a ver, tengo varios oyentes. Jose Salvador. An example using a few. Mr. Jose Salvador, are you there? Sí. Okay. Uh, could you please think about an example using a few? Mm -hmm. I have a few pets in my house. Okay, good. Great. There you go. Now let's see. Edwin, please, one example using a little. Uh, I have a little water in my bottle. Good. There you go. All right, people. So now it's your turn and on the weekend you can write examples, but think more than writing, thinking about the examples around you. Try to use a few, a little, lot, a lot, lots of uh, around you, okay? Try to do that. That's a suggestion, all right? So the objective tonight is studying the decline stage. It was to learn about how to handle the decline stage of a product. So it means that we need to identify when a product is in the decline stage. So I will show you an, um, 
presentation that a group did in a previous class uh, to show you the way they analyzed one product. And it was the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, okay? They defined that it, it is a smartphone and it was designed and marketed by Samsung Electronics, et cetera. They described what the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 is. And we have the product life cycle, right? And they say the market introduction, mm -hmm, a new product is brought into the market. So it was released on August the 19th of 2016, right? Then the next is uh, stage. The phone was launched and officially marketed on August and in at least 30 countries, okay? That it got uh, an increasing, okay? An increasing distribution, right? And they sold the phones in at least 30 countries. So it means they grow, right? They grew. Now, the next one, it says maturity. Launched the Galaxy Note 7 to record pre-orders and sales in August, but the roses are soon turned sour. Okay, the rose started soon turned sour. It was a failure, right? It was a failure. They didn't get the maturity. Why? Because they went to the decline because Samsung announced that 96% of the Note 7 were collected. So they were withdrawn, withdrawn from the market. They were um, taken off, right? You see, they had failures. They had failures. So they had to withdraw the product. And then, they did a relaunch. The relaunch explained that the battery was um, refined, it was fixed, okay? And the rumors and everything were uh, uh, shut it off and shut off so they could relaunch in a different way the new product, even though it was just fixed. All right, and that conclusion they did is that Samsung is not the first company to have a major consumer withdrawal, nor will it be the last. The way a company handles the withdrawal of a product is what determines its future success or failure. Okay, something like this is that we are going to do, okay? We have 10 minutes, so please, everybody, we are going to go to the break up room just to um, make the agreements, all right? Solamente para ponernos de acuerdo y eh, para el día lunes ustedes ya vienen un poco más preparados, ¿ok? El día lunes siempre vamos a tener una pequeña eh, reunión, ¿verdad? De los grupos para que lo puedan hacer. Entonces, voy a enviarlos al break up room solo para formar los grupos, ¿ok? Y okay. Ustedes se ponen ahí de acuerdo que como por ahí. Esto lo subí a la plataforma. Ahí está definido lo que van a hacer para su presentación. Ok. Ahí les puse también esta presentación como un ejemplo para que se guíen. Ok. Bien. Vamos a crear tres grupos.
stage of ELC. Okay. Uh, we can explain about uh, all of the stage of or new or or Production. or product. <laughs> Sorry. Pero no sé qué más. Well, if I... Exactly that. It's just an analysis of the product life uh, cycle of the product that you choose. Whatever you want to choose. The presentation is single. No, no. It's individual. Group. Yeah, individual. We need, we need a... In group, uh, uh, with who? What, yeah. what did it... How many people? You are one, two, three, and four. You have Edwin here. You have Carlos, estamos aquí ahorita en Nelson. La sala. Yes, exactly. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. We Thank need you. a product with a relaunch or whatever you want to do. It's mm. up to you. It's up to you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You have just to analyze the product. I show you the Samsung, right? The Samsung Note 7. Um, I thought one. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. It's a software, uh, for example, Windows 7. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you can investigate the... Uh, yeah, about uh, each stage. The, the history. And in the history, you will see the dates and what uh, happened. In, okay. And then you are going to analyze what happened. Uh, yeah. Why it declined or when it declined. Why, how, who were involved, etc. Okay, okay. Thank you. And si tendrías algún otro ejemplo es para digamos ponerlo a ver cuál agarramos. Candice. No tome en cuenta decline o maturity o maturity. Only I thought um but Diana is only the market, Diana. Uh, yes. there, are, there are many products. Because yes. I know some products of Diana, they don't they don't they uh, don't exist anymore. Mm. Uh, I, I I remember they had they had a a, a peanuts uh, with a candy. On they aren't anymore. Mm, okay. On they, they withdraw some products. Okay. But the yuca, the yuca is always down, the churritos, Diana. Yes, churritos. Yeah, but you move. Tata is a uh, Hindu, I guess. Okay. Okay. Let me check. Tata. Okay. Uh, De verlo y buscar información. Yeah, is yeah, Indians. Indian, okay. Indian manufacturing. Yeah. Uh, like okay. a China is yeah. is a another uh, particular name for Chinese cars. Uh, okay. Okay. I uh, I I I send the, the the picture in your in 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 your WhatsApp. Uh, uh, we we writing. Uh, 
agree the for for the lunar for the Monday. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. So. Okay. Algo más, no sé. All right, people. Everything okay? On the platform, you will find the uh, the post. I uh, the I posted in the discussion label, so you can go there and take the examples. Right, take the examples there. I need to go there. I think uh, we were in group two with uh, Ulisse Torres. Um, I think I, I didn't write uh, uh, there was another guy with us. Do you know who it was? But he uh, go away. I don't know who. Ah, Ca Carlos Alberto. His name is Carlos ah. Alberto. Carlos uh -huh. Alberto was? Carlos yes. Alberto. Yeah, ah, it Albert. is. Carlos Alberto, Nachnam, uh, the. Give me one second. I, I will. I will say the complete name there. All right. One second. One second. Where is the breakout? Breakout. Carlos Alberto, que no iba conmigo. Allow me to check. Allow me to check. Just one second. Si nos puede mandar, digamos, como los integrantes ahí en WhatsApp, por favor. Okay. I will do it in this way. I don't know if it is okay. Uh, maybe I can send it from here. Let's just save options. Automatically break a room. No, it doesn't give me as a message. So just one sec. I will do the printing screenshot. I'm sharing here, but it doesn't matter, okay? There it goes, those are the names. You see? 
Yeah. Ah, Carlos Alberto said that uh, he couldn't in. Uh, he doesn't know in which group he is. Ah, Carlos in Alberto Rose. is in room one. Room one with Edwin, Jose Miguel, and Nelson. Carlos Ernesto is the one who is with you, Santiago. Ah, Carlos, Carlos Ernesto. Mm -hmm. Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Mm -hmm. Carlos Hernández Ernesto. Cepeda. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. I will start Thank sharing. You. And uh, well, actually, the, the, what I was sharing is where it was posted, right? Where it was posted. So you can get it here. Here on the third one, right? The third one, I don't know if it is in the third one. Yes, teamwork, PLC analysis of a product in the market. Team up and analyze a product in the market, then prepare a presentation. Look at the Samsung Note 7 example posted. So you can guide by this presentation. This is what you are going to do. Analyze your uh, product, the, the product life cycle of, the, of any product in the market that you choose, okay? So there it is. You can add a picture like that one over there in the platform, just as a manner of evidence, all right? Good. So guys, the session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for, it says Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez Cepeda. Is Carlos connected? Carlos? Are you able to stay? He's got in trouble, right, with the connection too. Is there anyone who wants to stay with me in the session one on one? Hoy hay panes con crema. Oh, I can't. Okay. Drink? Ah, for drinking. No, tengo atolito de avena. <laughs> Atol de maíz tostado. Yes, tell me. Eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp no están todos los compañeros. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? ¿Sí están? Es, es, es que no encuentro a los de mi, a los de mi equipo. <laughs> no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp actual. Compañerito, váyase al, al email que le enviaron en donde está el eh, link, ok, para unirse. Déjenme llegar ahí para mandárselo. De verdad no están todos. Yo sí, me acuerdo no encuentro, que están... no encuentro a los compañeros que, ah, con okay. los que voy a hacer grupo. <risas> ok. Ya, ya ingresé. Listo. Bye. ¿Alguien más no se ha unido? Jóvenes. Tienen que haber 18 de ustedes más 4 de nosotros. Osman. Osman Atilio no lo encuentro aquí. Josman no está por ahí Josman vale, voy a poner aquí el chat ya hoy sí vale, ahí está ahí está el link para los que no se han agregado ok está escondiendo es Irán oh, ok, he's hiding alright, alright, alright Ah, you guys. A ver, lo vamos a poner aquí para... Ahí lo mandé en el WhatsApp para que se una. Ay, ah, ¿cómo lo voy a mandar? ¿Se los mando a ustedes? Ajá, sí, qué chistoso, vean. Ajá, ah, ajá, 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 qué chistosa la Carmen y Dalia, mucha por Dios. ¿Qué va a decir la prensa, Dios mío? Que ella es bien noche. Ah, po, o sea, ya ¿A que quién más le con... falta? Uh, sorry, sorry, este, Postman, ahí te escribí en el chat 
para que me enviaras tu número de teléfono para comunicarme y lo del, para hacerlo del grupo. Perfecto, gracias. Ya me venía ahí el grupo. Ah, ok. Mm. Ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Ok, it's 10.07, guys. Time is up. So let, um, bueno, hay otra actividad que también he posteado en la plataforma, es el de Kodak. Ese no lo hemos podido tocar, pero es un análisis similar. Lo único que está enfocado al decline, ok, al decline stage. Lo vamos a ver el lunes para, para que terminemos, ¿verdad? De de ubicarnos o practicar más bien. Entre más practiquemos, entre más, digamos, hablemos, escuchemos y leamos, más vamos a eh, mejorar, ¿verdad? Ok, people, see you Monday. Have a very good weekend and a very good see rest. You next. Enjoy your Enjoy weekend. weekend. Bye. Enjoy your weekend Bye. too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, guys, uh, this is another example about how we can analyze the product life cycle. Even though it's the same product as Samsung Note 7, so you can check out a different way to do it. And here we've got maturity growth, decline introduction, the market introduction and stages of the product life cycle with these products, okay? Here we've got the market introduction and here we have the three or four uh, statements, right? Then the market introduction here, right? Market introduction, market introduction. And we have the growth, growth. The maturity, maturity. The decline stage. This is very important for us to make decisions, right? And it says that they needed to fix the problems with this product, okay? Here they are. This was the problem in the relaunching. They were afraid of the new versions, functionality. They were not aware of the fixing parts or maybe they wanted to get um, a different product instead of the same one because of the failure, the previous failure, right? So people were afraid. This was like an obstacle to relaunch, but they did it anyway. They did it anyway and they created new strategies, right? They created new strategies. So guys, have a very good weekend. Bye.